What are white people doing? Reparations. Yes. What? This in this in this case, it's what are these white people not doing? <laughs> they're really uh, not doing is, anything. They're not doing much. Uh, here's my. I, it's not even a defense of white people. That that is a big fucking problem. <laughs> Meaning, it's not every. No one is alive that it actually happened to. So you can't. So it's not. It's not like a, a settlement. Right. It's not like we did this. It's not it's not even like you were falsely incarcerated for 20 years and here's a payment. It's how do you put a dollar value on your great, great, great grandfather and all of your ancestors for 400 years? What's the dollar value? I mean, that's are, how do you even get to that? But we do. I guess you can figure it out. Country, just not to black people. Yeah, I yeah for Native Americans. Native Americans, Japanese internment, um, people. I think soldiers from the F World War One were getting paid up until like the eighties, like certain things that like. <sighs> fuck, I don't remember the exact thing, but it was yeah. it was like a hundred years, or was it the Civil War? I can't remember. Civil War, Civil, Civil War, Civil War. Uh, soldiers got pensions. Pensions, and then for, like like into the. 40s yeah something i mean we have reparations yeah we just don't have it for black people but the one there's two things one i think it's bullshit that we only talk about it we only talk about it when democrats are up for election well it's That's like, like they're like campaign would finance. you be okay with it? it's like yeah. no one's done it yes. who cares if pete by the way bugatti what's his the, last name bugatti, the, bugatti? Uh, I call him Bugatti. Bu Buttigieg. Um, the yeah, Pete Buttigieg. Bugatti. Um, the uh, the Congress wouldn't apologize for slavery in the nineties. <laughs> they truly wouldn't apologize. Clinton yeah. apologized, but On Congress said himself. like vetoed it. Like we're not apologizing. No, you would hate Congress. They would never apologize for anything. Yeah, they would. Oh, not I would. They you talk could. about. <laughs> Talk about a horrible co-host for a podcast. I know. Um, they, um, they, so if your, 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 I, I forgot to tell you what your ethnicity is. You're an everything bagel. You're literally everything. That's right? That's actually really sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Um, she wants to fuck him so bad. <laughs> um people swear i'm in love uh, with you like and i'm just like, uh yeah you're an everything bagel yeah what would you do uh, walk me through your plan and this can be the the wait the, what does this have to do with my it has to do with your you're a little bit black right yeah okay not african-american i'm black though i mean whatever but okay but you probably would i would never say african-american right but you wouldn't get you wouldn't receive any of the reparations. No, not at all. But still, I'm like, I don't know. You're just black adjacent in this country. Yeah. You no, know, you're black for like most social engagements. Most, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you're not going to. So as a let's say you're let's say you're even you're you're an objective observer. Yes. Walk me through what you think should Happen? be done. Okay. And again, this, I'm not, I don't expect, I don't have high, I'm not going to like call you to task. No, like, no, I know. Well, I know what about mean. the infrastructure? Yeah, you know, I know you're not going to be yeah. like, um, well, I just think if you go back and you look at what helped people after the civil war, cause this is kind of the time, the era we're talking about yes. for me, the biggest help to white people was the Homestead Act Yeah, and you know, giving off like public domain and government owned land for free, basically for a filing fee. And it was open to freed slaves, but there was, it's like, I'm not going to get into it now, but, but it's obviously I, very my guess is it wasn't that open. It was open technically, but it's like, okay, you can't write or read. Now you got to file this and do all these things. There's like, there's a lot of reasons why it was, um, I heard there's 13 reasons why. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, so, there's a lot of reasons why it was hard for black people to benefit from the Homestead Act, but the Homestead Act generated so much wealth for white people and not just white people, 
white immigrants also, not just, you know, Americans. The, and explain how. Um, because you basically had to... What, what? Explain what the Homestead Act was. The Homestead Act was ba uh, giving off government-owned land and public domain to basically help help out the citizens. It was all mostly, it was like the size of California and Texas put together. It's 27 million acres. Okay. And you can get you 160. Get, you could get, a, you could just go. I and what did you have to, you so had, you to, had to farm it. You had to stay. But what did you had to fought for the, for the union? No, it was open. It was open to immigrants. It was open to freed slaves and it was open to white people. But due to a, like a lot of reasons, mostly white immigrants and white um americans benefited from it and they as, would as it should be hello and um and there was like fraud and stuff it's like they would be like cool give me 160 acres and then they would like sell it off the corporations yeah, but it yeah, basically yeah. was for people who it was during the reconstruction yeah so you have this situation and these people don't have wealth. They don't have anything to yeah. grow upon. So it's like, okay, you have nothing to build upon. Let me give you all this like land to build upon, yes. to build something with your life, you yes. know? And that generated like, I believe I read somewhere it was like 1.5 million people benefited from it, like lineage. like. Uh, oh, I think that's... No, sorry. Benefited from it at the time. Like, yeah, let's say one so lineage by. is So then it's just, uh, I don't know, exponentially. yes. yes. Probably 150 million living people now. So there was only like 45 million people at the time of the Homestead Act. And I think, oh no, that was it. I think like 150, 200 million people like benefited from it. Too many numbers. There's already too many numbers here. Anyways, but it's, it a was small, great. It's, a, it's a large Just percentage that of the population. Great. A large percentage of the white population at the time yes. helped out. And I'm just like, okay, so why don't we go back to people who had nothing? Black people, whatever. And the, the just to interject, the... The idea is you get property, you can sell it, you can farm it, you can... You can't sell it. You had to farm it for... Right, but you, but eventually you can eventually, sell it. Sure. Eventually, probably the next generation can sell it. For sure. There are th and because black people were given not only no property, prohibitive loans, fucked up loans, and they couldn't move and couldn't get loans. A lot of, when they yeah, could get loans, they were fucked up. Loans. Couldn't get loans, so and they were a thing called redlining. Which, if you lived, this was more in Jim Crow in the 1900s, but and it ended in 1974 when Mitt Romney's dad ended it. Redlining. Thanks, Mitt Romney. I know Damn. his dad. Yeah, People no, his dad was very. It, his, his, dad, yeah. his dad was like. His dad did was the chairman of HUD, and he did it and got fired behind it. Wow. Um, but. Redlining was uh, if black people lived, they would put a red line on a map. They'd circle a map and go, anyone who lives in here can't get a loan and can't move out. Right. Which you is like, oh, so you Roach Motel. truly made a ghetto the, in the truest sense of the word. Um, the thing is, if you, if, if black, well, all the wealth, all of everything that black people have in this country, I mean, African American. Redlining was so ghetto. Go ahead. It's so ghetto. And you all. Yeah. Um, if you have whatever wealth, whatever infrastructure, whatever black people have today was built on zero, nothing. Yes. And it was basically. R literally like rhyming skills. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, like <laughs> slave songs <laughs> and like heart. Completely. No, based on like how well you like you look at black people like Oprah was the first black female billionaire um, based on a on basically like a character thing based on like she couldn't rhyme but she could host nice yeah yeah she could host real nice so like that's not institutional that's not you go to school no, she you get she, a loan you start a business you grow the business da, da, da. She, she had to go off the path yeah she didn't just there is no it. path for black people i mean there is virtually no path for black people um so okay basically what i would do is the government still has a lot of government land, a lot of public domain. And I think they should just reinvent the Homestead Act. I think just give black people Yellowstone. <laughs> no. Straight up. I think that's what you're saying. They give them the like hot just give mud them yellow, part. Just give them the geyser. That's for black people. <laughs> you get the geyser, y'all. Y'all like bears? Give them something. Or like, why isn't there free college for like African-Americans? I totally agree. I don't that's understand. That's the thing why. that... That's a... That's a like, I would say... 
there's like a dollar amount, obviously, like give them a million, whatever, some dumb square amount. And somebody, there was a thing, ta Coates wrote a thing in the Atlantic two years ago that got a lot of traction. And then somebody over the next couple months wrote a guy who does, who figures out like, what should the 9-11 widows get? Yeah. There's a guy. And he, I think he came up with a number. Um, we did a sketch on Chappelle Show about what would happen. Right, right, right. Of course. And that it was, was very, <laughs> so good. in other hands, it would have been, seemed very racist. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but it was like, the jokes were like, rich, thousands of record labels started. In the last hour. <laughs> yeah. No. Just like dumb shit like that. But. <laughs> so funny. You know, there's a money is that good. would like people don't know what to do with money. People money don't is a bad people. Uh, money is a bad. Yes. Money is a bad reparation. It You want to talk about short money, giving money to people that have never had money that it's you might as well. Uh, give them like cotton candy. <laughs> yeah like, like they're just it's gonna, starting it's, to rain yes like it's they're not what i'll i'll have a perfect example of that in canada if you're from particular tribes um as soon as you turn 18 you get a hundred thousand dollars yeah so what happens to a lot of the population and i heard this from a white canadian so i'm taking it with a grain of salt but i do i can understand it is that they turn 18 they get the most wild car you can find yeah like a giant Mack truck that's like lime yeah. green. Yes. And then they buy a house. And then when the money runs out, they burn the house. To for get the insurance? For the insurance. So, and it's like, what a, what a way. I to, mean, my guess is the white person was generalizing. I think so, 100%. Uh, but, but I think that's, I'm sure that's. Right. But you, you'll you also, there will be tons of scams. Like, and, and scamming how, people now, out the having said that. Part of me is like, well, you got a better idea? Yeah. What, give them wealth. Don't make them rich. I'm wealthy. I'm not rich. I own property. I'm Persian. That's what we do. Yes. Okay? That's yes. what we do. <laughs> right. So I have... And you're, plan- when are- you're going to burn it down on Thursday, right? <laughs> I do have that black side itching monkey That's on my back. Everything. Um Don't no, say I mean- monkey. Don't say <laughs> monkey. You said monkey. I know. Um no, so to me, I'm just like, give them wealth. Give black people something they've never had, which is wealth. Give them land. Yeah, I understand. That's, can't, it's been a long time since 1860, whatever the hell. And so I'm not saying, yeah, now farm on it. You know, it's like, what the yeah. fuck are you talking about? But give them an opportunity to make another city besides Atlanta. Like, give them infrastructure. There's so many cities, like, historically in America that, Black people started thriving, having their own banks, having their own this, and then the poor white people around them go and burn it down. Well, there's that. That's like there but is what I'm that. saying is like the times people do try to make something and yeah. have started to thrive. I mean, look at it. Like it's not. The, it's yeah, just, the thing that people don't realize about integration that I didn't realize. I, there's a book called "Some of My Best Friends Are Black," um, <laughs> that's written so by. Oh, good. I know, but written by. A white guy named Tanner Colby. It's about integration focusing on, I believe, Kansas City, but it, integration at large. Black people weren't dying to be integrated. No. That that's, When I think about integration, I think like, oh, black people must have been excited. Da, da, da. No, they didn't. They weren't like, I can't wait to spend more time with white people. <laughs> it was it was trepidation at best. Mostly, I would assume it was like, fuck, I don't, we don't like, like, this is bad. The problem is that Jim Crow is like the opposite. I think white people are like, okay, we got to do away with Jim Crow. Integrate. It's like, that's not necessarily the next. Yes. Right. It should have been separate, but equal. It should have been separate, but equal, which was the point of. Jim Crow lies. Right. But Jim Crow was the, the solution for Jim Crow was separate, but equal. Yeah. Right. Um, I think. I mean, I'm sure we're wrong in, in the details. But Separate but equal was how Jim Crow was sold through the government. Oh, right. But it wasn't. It but wasn't. it clearly was. Yes. In some ways, so it Crow was. Didn't... It was. Se- there was black banks. There was like a lot of specific black stuff. There were 
There was a black, I, I believe a small black financial infrastructure, right. like banks mm -hmm. and schools and, um, and, uh, stores, whatever, so all that shit. So there are no good solutions for, there are no Groot solutions for, <laughs> you having a stroke. there are no Groot solutions for how to implement reparations in a way that it's like even, even in the NBA with the last collective bargaining thing, yeah. the, what they made a TV deal salaries in certain cases were kind of like double or like the salary cap went up so much and they, the, the NBA was like, why don't we do a thing called smoothing where instead of all of it jumping one year, it jumps a little bit a year for more years. Oh, that's why it's like 45 million over the next four years. That's why yeah, more or less the, okay. but the, but so guys whose contracts were up like LeBron, Chris Paul were like, no, <laughs> Seeing as I'm going to be gonna getting the windfall yeah, of this, exactly. I don't feel a, a, a special deep need to smooth it. And that's what I think white people are hiding behind with like, how are they going to implement reparations? Mm. You know, it's not like it's not it's not like don't worry about it, but kind of kind of don't worry about it. like that. Like that's a good let. Let black people have that's a good problem for black people to have, right? Instead of, are they even yeah, going like white to? people are using their caution as a reason to not? It's like with most things where white people go, No, we know what's best. Uh, we don't want to, we don't look, we don't want to, we know what's gonna happen. We've done studies, <laughs> and um, you're 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 yeah, you you can't handle this. The thing is, though, I will say, I think a lot of this falls on black people in politics because it's like. You just bring up this hot button topic. When when it's like people are going to be elected time, and then you do nothing about it. No one talks about reparations outside of ele upcoming elections. No one's like pushing well, for them. There's no really, legislation. It'll be really. It's hard. It, I get it. I mean, to say it's hard, it sounds like it'll take some. No, health care was hard reparations it's gonna is be fucking like, it's impossible gonna... i honestly think it's impossible the thing the problem what i don't get is why are white people so against it they white people they're so feel, mad at black people I don't understand. first of all because they feel again and i don't when i talk about white people i mean racist right wing kind of i'd say poor and rich whites think that you don't have to be right wing i think there's a lot more people well okay like well off people on it's the, left the that same are people that like, say mm -hmm. i don't where's my white privilege yeah, okay right it's they don't feel like they don't see they don't even understand they don't the the biggest thing about slavery was the mind fuck right it's not the biggest thing about slavery but it's one of the biggest things about slavery and i've i've talked to white people about this I was like, you know how you have alcoholism in your family and it's it fucks up everyone, yeah. fucks up everyone in the family. I would say that slavery's effect on the black family system is alcoholism times 20. Yeah. Roughly. Uh, again, <laughs> roughly. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to get a whiteboard <laughs> to explain things to you. Um, uh, I Please so don't. So that's how do you want to do that? Yeah, that's like, to say nothing of the what do you do with a windfall when people win the lottery yeah it fucks it they're the, fucked. yeah lottery changed my life i love that show it's yeah. awful everything uh, ends yeah terribly. everyone everyone ends is, badly no everyone one goes gets like swindled somehow. i made a i made i put a thing i have an annuity and i make 70 grand a year <laughs> dude annuity. and i have a small never life. do an annuity everyone goes nuts everyone around you goes nuts it just makes everyone nuts the so I always say this, but I feel like our country is uh, in the stages of like a teenager phase mm -hmm. where they're like getting rid of old ideas, moving into the new one, not sure how to navigate. I personally think reparations will come in like two generations. I just don't. There's too many old white people in Congress. They're yeah, not gonna I, do I don't. It. I don't disagree with they're that. They're not but gonna I, do but it. You, that implies that there's a bunch of progressive white people behind them. And there are on the left. Yeah. 
But I think the right, they the right's slowly, moving more to the left. A little bit. Like I feel Maybe. like, I mean, no one on earth right now is as racist as someone a hundred years ago. Yeah. There's no way. So I do There's think people. There are people popped. They're trying. They're coming trying. to mind that are getting there. They're working. Uh, yeah. No, I know what you mean. So I mean, but that's a slow progress, and a lot of you know, you've heard those those estimates of like it's going to take black people another. 400 years to get to what or whatever it's not yes. that it's like 150 or 250 or something well there's that thing of like the net worth of the average black person in boston it was in the new york times like a year ago and i believe it's eight dollars and the average net worth of the the net worth of the average white person in boston is like 78 grand and black people it's eight dollars net worth what I, I i'll look it up okay, but we'll it's figure. there's it's I, I promise drastic. you because Sometimes I'll be on the phone with Rock and I'll go, eight dollars. <laughs> eight dollars, Neil. Eight dollars. Like if you're talking about how bad things are going, eight dollars. And the the thing I wanted to add is white people have an immense amount of guilt about black people. Do you think they re- like when they say white yes, guilt? I'm I don't so think that they I don't think like, I don't I, I don't I there are people like me who are like uh, you know the righteous, mm. um, the very righteous people like myself. I'm kidding. No, please I laugh. I, I'm sorry. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> please clap. Please clap. Um, the, please laugh. Uh, there are like white people who know about like what the effect of slavery and Jim Crow and da, 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 and and then there are people, white people who kind of vaguely know about it and but they hate. I I don't I don't think I did it on here, but I have like a conversation joke where I say, for a, for some white people, black people just represent karma. Mm. So the black fear of black people is like fear of black men, especially is like there were two karmas approach me. <laughs> two they, there were six foot. One of the karmas was wearing a hoodie. <laughs> uh, there is an element of just guilt and shame on sight kind of whether it's conscious or it's like i it's it's someone that you it's like let's say you you beat up a kid in first grade right every time you see him you're gonna be like does he remember that i fucked him up in first grade (laughs) like does he remember and that's kind of a decent analogy for what that's a really that's actually a really that makes sense to me huh does he remember is he is he mad at me? But the weird, the only reason why it's confusing to me about white guilt is that the law, everything does not like. Okay, if I saw someone I beat up like twenty years later, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, what's up?" I'm gonna be nicer to that person. I don't uh, understand why. I know. Yes, there is a. I, why the, is you know it's what's like, interesting? It's like I'm scared. Of, I feel bad. Fuck the you. times I've been cheated on. Mm. Which is every relation. I'm <laughs> no, no. Uh, the time I've been cheated on, they were meaner when they started. Oh, that is fucked up. When you think about it as a country. Yes. It's like you're but making me feel meaner. bad. Yes. Fuck they you, were meaner black people. Toward me. Yes. So I, and again, I don't think that this is even close to conscious on white people's part. I think there is an element. So then, so the, the, they're lazy they're milking welfare queens they're they're doing all these things they're bilking the system that it's just based on shame for your own behavior that's what i think and and again i could be dead it could just be plain tribalism their skin's different than mine fuck them but i think there's more to it with with all the things i mentioned well if you think about it um, when people talk about like uh, Indian gaming casino- casinos, like whenever there's like a measure that comes up to like help out Native Americans, yeah. like, I think people are so against it. I think they're less against it because Native Americans, that's fucking open and shut. Right. Native Americans don't get branded with the, the one thing that I find so, so like one of the great racial jujitsu of all time on the part of white people. It's so fucked up. Whoa. <laughs> the term Indian giver. It's the it's most maybe if in the Hall up. of Fame, that's the first exhibit. 
And it doesn't even have like a slur in it. That's but how the bad term it is. is you gave it to me and then you wanted it back, like, which is what the what, what, what is it um, based on though? I it's don't get based it. on um, Indians, America. Yes, I'm almost positive. It's, I, I thought that, it was based on my like, assumption is based that it's based on America that Indians gave us their land and then wanted it back. I don't know that. I always think I'm like, damn, like you just you rape, murder, genocide these people, and then it's like. Oh, fucking Indian giver. Yeah, like, like you wanted it back. Like you gave it to us. <laughs> First of all, they didn't give it to us. And second of all, they didn't want it back. You took it. And they were like, hey, would you mind? Would you mind just you mind? not yeah. completely yeah. fucking us? No, I mean, everyone's, look, most of us are dead. <laughs> so that's so that's taken care of. Just give it, just to be a little bit decent. Just acknowledge it. I think that with Native Americans, it is, I think white people are like, yeah. And uh, not great. Yeah. <laughs> kind of not great. That, <laughs> so when they say we need casinos, we're like, ah, we can have fun there. <laughs> we can give them money like, back and have fun. <laughs> slavery and genocide. I mean, none of them are like, no, nothing. Is not, it's not like one's better than the other. No. I mean, I think with genocide, you can at least claim there's like a war element to it that it was like we yeah it's fucking it's fair yeah. fair we invade we fucking yeah, we yeah. got guns we got gunpowder we're fucking coming to fuck everybody up but anybody like we don't have it we're taking your shit we're jacking your shit and only in the last hundred years has that been considered like like the end of colonialism where like you know what yeah like now like instagram <laughs> bitches get yelled at when they wear like a yeah dress yeah so like, now you yeah. bitch yeah. it's I like well it. we used to fucking own the people <laughs> yeah. um and again you could go after a woman um at coachella or you could help indians with the rampant alcoholism that's ravaging their their uh tribe and i'd say tribe literally <laughs> i dated a native american uh woman and my favorite thing was in when indians had get-togethers Mm-hmm. You know what they were called, and they without irony. Pow. Yes, wow. they were. They were powwows. We had a powwow, and I go like, "You literally like the connection." It's the only time you've go, used it correctly. We're having a powwow. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, you guys deserve it." This is how do you feel? Tell us how do you feel, Neil? This is how do you feel? Tell us just how you feel, Neil. I said, "Welcome to how do you feel?" You know the deal. Gotta learn just how do you feel? It keeps it real with this cold